What are stomach ulcers? Stomach ulcers are open craters in the lining of the upper digestive tract, and most often develop in one of these two sites. The most common site is in the upper part of the small intestine and is known as a duodenal ulcer. The less common site is on the inside of the stomach itself, which is a stomach ulcer. Ulcers are sores that originate in the lining of the digestive tract. The types of ulcers are determined by where they occur. A worm ulcer is an ulcer in the duodenum. Causes of stomach ulcers. There are different causes of stomach ulcers. But they are all related to food and proper hygiene. Before, most doctors believed that ulcers were mainly caused by stress and by eating a lot of acidic foods. But all that changed after a laboratory experiment discovered that a bacterium called H. pylori causes infection in the digestive tract and forms ulcers. Acidic foods and gastric juices can only aggravate ulcers by burning the walls of the digestive system. Some anti inflammatory drugs are also caused by stomach ulcers. These medications are what doctors usually give to arthritis sufferers. These substances can be corrosive to the stomach lining, so, if taken for an extended period of time, they can increase the risk of developing an ulcer. Naproxen, ibuprofen, and aspirin are some of the known anti inflammatory drugs that may cause stomach ulcers. Stomach ulcers are generally caused by a strange factor in the stomach, so the cause of stomach ulcers is either due to too much stomach acid secretion, or major digestive secretions, or due to lack of mucus and protein secretions, and as it is believed, there is a direct relationship between excessive acid secretions and ulcers. For example, there are humans secrete large amounts of acid, but some are excreted only in limited quantities. And this has led many doctors to suspect that weak tissues and other wrong behaviors, such as smoking cigarettes, may contribute to ulcers. Symptoms of stomach ulcers. The most important symptom of stomach ulcers is pain that forms in the bottom of the stomach under the rib cage, and this can be detected as feeling that pain after eating, and the severity of this pain increases when the stomach is empty. The pain can present as a tingling or chronic pain. It may get worse during or immediately after meals, or there may be no pain at all and just cramps. Symptom number one Stomach ulcers and heartburn. The feeling of heartburn and heartburn is one of the main symptoms of stomach ulcers, which causes this feeling of pain in the stomach area, which is close to the same feeling of hunger. Symptom number two Stomach ulcers and indigestion. Stomach ulcers may cause people to suffer from dyspepsia. In short, it causes their inability to eat certain foods, a feeling of fullness, even when the stomach is empty due to bloating and gas, feeling dizzy and losing weight, breathing problems, unexplained decrease in appetite, and feeling tired. Stomach ulcer complications. Gastrointestinal bleeding is one of the most common complications of stomach ulcers. This may appear when vomiting notices fresh, red blood or bloody stools. The sick person may also show weakness and fatigue, and in the case of severe bleeding, the person may experience a state of loss of consciousness resulting from bleeding in the digestive system. Ulcers should always be suspected when gastrointestinal bleeding occurs, even if there is no pain or other symptoms. Diagnosing stomach ulcers. The first diagnosis is by examination. In this case, A flexible tube with a very small video camera attached to the end is inserted into the esophagus of a sick person. In this examination, a biopsy is taken from the sick person and examined to confirm that he has an ulcer, and this diagnosis is the most accurate diagnosis to obtain confirmed results for the detection of stomach ulcers. The second diagnosis for detection of stomach ulcers is done through X rays of the stomach and duodenum after drinking barium. But this examination is not sufficient and accurate, and through it, it is not possible to take a biopsy to be examined microscopically. Although there are many differences between benign ulcers and malignant ulcers, it is preferable in all cases to perform an endoscopic examination with the aim of biopsy and to rule out the presence of malignant tumors. Stomach ulcers and its treatment. While some ulcers heal on their own, most patients will need some type of treatment. But the development of stomach ulcer treatment over the years has given patients the freedom to choose the type of treatment. Diet, 
Medicine and surgery give today's patients a freedom that previous generations of ulcer victims could not have imagined. In any case, patients with ulcers who drink cigarettes should work hard to stop the habit. It is also advised to avoid alcohol because it is a major cause of stomach ulcers. As mentioned earlier, stomach ulcers are caused by an infection, so the primary recommendation that your doctor will give you is to treat sores by killing the bacteria first. This medication will last for two to three weeks, or until the bacteria in the stools wear off. However, this treatment may not always be effective for people with other conditions such as diabetes and arthritis. What is the treatment for stomach ulcers? Number 1. Treating stomach ulcers with medication. Stomach ulcers are treated by taking anti secretion of stomach acids, which help to heal ulcers and craters quickly and better. Number 2. Treating stomach ulcers by following a specific diet. Bad foods for stomach ulcers. A natural treatment for stomach ulcers, it is clear that you will not want to experience its symptoms. You don't want to feel pain and to see blood in your stool. Thus, acidic foods that may trigger these symptoms should be avoided. Alcohol, caffeine, spicy foods, and excessive amounts of sodium or salt can all contribute to this disease. The first three increase acid production in the stomach while sodium can irritate the stomach walls. Not only does salt contain sodium, But most medications and vitamin supplements contain sodium at a level unnecessary for our bodies. If you are also taking certain other medicines, you should drink plenty of fluids, especially pure water, to help get rid of excess sodium quickly. Foods good for stomach ulcers. The antioxidants in fruits and vegetables also help reduce the risk of ulcers by protecting the stomach lining. It also helps relieve symptoms when an ulcer is already present. Nutritionists recommend bananas, kiwis, apricots, raw cabbage juice, carrots, and peppers. Other foods that are helpful for treating stomach ulcers are almonds, whole grains, wheat seeds, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. These foods are good sources of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins that have been shown to help repair damaged parts of the stomach lining. Surgery to treat stomach ulcers. For the majority of patients with ulcers, the success of nutritional therapy, drug therapy, or a combination of the two makes surgery unnecessary. But about 10 to 15% of patients with ulcers ultimately require surgery. Stubborn pain may also warrant surgical intervention, but it is usually used only after trying other treatment alternatives. In the end, the causes of ulcers are still not completely clear until now. But new treatments have greatly improved the outlook for ulcer patients. In the end, please activate the bell button, subscribe to the channel, to receive from us all that is new. For more information about stomach germs, please visit my own site. You will find the website link in the description. Thank you.